New at five, don't get burned. Yeah, people are learning the hard way. You need to pay attention to more than just the SPF when you're buying sunscreen. Here's consumer editor Susan Copen. Burn after burn after burn. These are all Facebook posts from consumers who say they used expired sunscreen. Savannah Roach posted, please people check your sunscreen after she got a severe burn during a trip to Georgia. So I thought maybe I need to check the expiration date. And sure enough, I looked and it was two years expired. Even worse, Roach says the sunscreen she used was purchased that day. Two years expired? Yeah, and it was just sitting on the shelf and it wasn't like it was pushed back on the shelf. It was sitting like one of the first ones on the shelf and I just grabbed it and went. You didn't think anything of it? No. I mean, who thinks to check sunscreen? And it happened to this woman who also suffered a burn. She posted on Facebook, public service announcement. Even when you purchase new sunscreen, check the date. It might be expired. So we went shopping for sunscreen at eight different stores looking at expiration dates. We didn't find any expired bottles, but we found expiration dates to be wildly different. From this bottle set to expire in just a few months to this bottle, which is good until 2020. And check out these bottles right next to each other. Same sunscreen, but the bottle in front expires in 2019. The one right behind it expires a year earlier. So the expiration date is there for a reason. And we know that after the expiration date, the product is going to become weaker. Weaker sunscreen will lead to burns, says dermatologist Dr. Douglas Cress. There are some studies that show that even one sunburn as a child can increase the incidence of skin cancer, particularly melanoma skin cancer, later in life. That's why these moms make it a point to lather up their kids. I'm very concerned about sunscreen because I know I burned a lot as a kid and now I have concerns for myself about skin cancer and I don't want my kids to have to go through the same thing. But after a quick scan of their pool bags, we found expired sunscreen over here. Identical bottles, one expires in 2018, the other expired in 2015. We put these on every day and the other day my son actually got burnt and I'll bet we had this one on and so we're going to throw that one away. And over at this table, this sunscreen expired last year. That is expired. It's for my babies. Whether new or old bottles, look at those expiration dates so you don't get burned. And if your sunscreen does not have an expiration date on the bottle, there is a way for you to find out. You call the customer service number, which is on the back of the bottle. You type in the code, which is located on the bottle, and they will tell you if it's good or not. So this is very important information. It's not like the sunscreen all of a sudden becomes dangerous to your skin, yeah. but it won't work as well. So if it doesn't work, you're going to burn. Right. A lot of times people even kind of ignore them thinking it's not a big deal, but this is definitely is. So why do some have them and some don't? So it's an FDA regulation. If a sunscreen is going to be stable and it's going to last and be effective for three years, you don't have to have the expiration date on the bottle. Okay. So what they recommend is once you buy a bottle, grab a Sharpie, write the day you bought it, on the bottle so you're not flipping through the bag thinking, huh, when does this expire? When did we buy this? We all have those old bottles in the bag. Oh, oh man. And if you're not sure, just throw it out. I might have, might have something that expired back in the 80s. Yeah, <laughs> like. after, was, was there sunscreen back in the 80s? <laughs> <laughs> we'll check it. It's great check info. In my bag. Thanks. Thank all right. you. Thanks, Susan. All right.